This is the Lee 500 series installation video. Before installing, make sure you have the correct tools. And for this install, you'll need several tools. You'll need scissors, a screwdriver, a wrench, and an Allen wrench. And here I also have a vice grip wrench as well. You first need to remove your old wheel. For the video, I've already gone ahead and removed the old wheel. Make sure you, if you have V-brakes, remove the V-brakes first, loosen those up. And then go ahead and install the wheel correctly with the nut on the outside of the dropouts and the torque washer on the inside of the dropouts with the torque nut on top. It's the, the little piece that extends from the torque washer. And then go ahead and tighten those nuts down. Here I use the vice grips to tighten those down, but I, recommended that I recommend using the correct size. That way you won't chew your nuts up as you are tightening it down. If you're not going to use a torque arm, make sure you lock that down tight. And you'll notice here you can see the torque washer has that extended head piece and that's going to go on top. And that's what's going to prevent your wheel from free spinning inside. You'll notice here the screws are removed from the disc location because I took it off another wheel. Make sure that you keep the screws on if you have V-brakes. Go ahead and flip it back up and secure your bike so you can go ahead and begin installing the rest of the system. If you have V-brakes, this is a good time to go ahead and put the brakes back together. If you have disc brakes, you can go ahead and check those, make sure those are good or make any corrections if you need to. The battery here, on this video, we're gonna install the bracket first. And this is a 350 watt bracket. It's very similar to the 500 watt bracket. I'll show you the difference in a moment. But these secure directly to the bottle cage connectors. It's just simply two screws and then the battery can fit right on secured. Next we'll install the throttle. Here I've already taken off the handlebar grips and the throttle you want to make sure you have it going on correctly. Slide that onto your handlebar and then go ahead and put grips back on the outside and you'll want that secured directly next to as close as possible to your handlebar grips. And I go through and I tighten these up first before I lock it all the way down and I lock it down. Now you can see there it's correctly installed. Next we'll install the computer. The computer has two screws on the back and one supporting arm. I recommend using a screwdriver not a drill. For the sake of making this quicker I used a drill but using a drill can actually snap the supporting bracket so I recommend just using hand pressure with a screwdriver. Lock that in, secure it, and then here I'm just putting my cable back together. As you do the install just piece by piece you can just slowly begin putting your bike back together as you had to make some adjustments to put this on. The controller goes anywhere you want on the frame. It can go in a bag. Many people put them in bags under the saddle or bags on the frame and then it has two supporting brackets on the back with four screws and again use a screwdriver on a drill for the sake of making this quicker I use a drill but lock those in tight don't go too tight because they can snap if you put too much pressure on them. cables we'll go ahead and begin with the front wheel the cable lines up arrow to arrow and be careful with these because if you go ahead and jam them in you can break pins or bend pins make sure the arrows are correctly lined up before you put a lot of pressure on and then that exact cable comes back and locks directly into the controller and again arrow to arrow and this one takes a lot more pressure so make sure it's lined up correctly before you put that pressure on there to lock those in there are three cables coming from the controller and this is the first of the three that we'll be securing. Now again, this is a 350 watt bracket. It has three cables that come out. The 500 watt bracket has one cable that comes out and this cable is gonna connect directly to the controller, the second of the third cable on the controller. So again, 350 have three cables, 500 has one cable. Again, arrow to arrow, secure that directly to the controller. The second of the third cable of the controller is being used here. Now you have a 
This is the computer and the throttle. We're connecting green and green and yellow and yellow. And make sure you line these up correctly. You'll have a guide inside there that you follow to close in. Secure the yellow to yellow, green to green. And then here, you'll connect them. You'll follow that same cable down and connect it directly into the controller. This is the third of the three cables coming out of the controller. You'll have extra cables possibly. You can either cut those off or you can just secure them to the frame. Those extra cables, the green goes to the PAS or sometimes the yellow and the others go to brake systems that we don't offer with our kit. And go ahead and secure the cabling up. You can use Cobra cable guides which look the best. For the sake of this install I just use simple zip ties. Go ahead and line the cables up however you wish to the frame. Here I kind of did a little sloppy, but you can do it however you want to make it look best. Make sure that none of the cables are going to be dragging or touching anything important. And then go through and turn on your battery. Make sure the light turns on. And then turn on your LCD computer and make sure it's functioning correctly. And then give the throttle a good test. Go ahead and tidy up the frame here. Cut off the zip ties if you use those, or the Cobra cable guides are much, much better to use. We offer those on the site. If you have any questions about the installer, you get stuck, give us a phone call 866 933 8716. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. And always ride safe and enjoy your kit. Thank you.